Let's talk about the pyramid principle, one of the most important concepts in this course. The pyramid principle has two components. We'll dive into that next, but it really helps you do three things. Synthesize information, find gaps in your analysis or structuring of information, and help you communicate and position ideas such that you can do it persuasively. So the first part is bottoms up, where you're gonna synthesize and structure your ideas. This is where you're gonna take a lot of different information, start to make sense of it, apply the Misi principle, and see what you really have. What are the takeaways? Part two is communicating it top down. So instead of starting with the data and analysis, you're communicating the big ideas, the takeaway, the insights, and you start with that and position that as the core message. So let's do a quick challenge. I'm gonna give you nine things on the screen and your task is to remember them in 10 seconds. Great, do you remember the list? The point is not to remember the list, it's a challenge. Unless you have some sort of photographic memory, it's not gonna be easy to remember nine different things that you saw for 10 seconds. However, we can use the pyramid principle, and this is just to show you the power of structuring and synthesizing your ideas. So the first step is really you want to start grouping or clustering the different like uh, things. So as you can see, apple, grapefruit, cherries are very similar. Over here, we also have chicken leg, steak, lamb. We also have bread, donut, and bagel. Now, next thing you want to do is say, okay, what are these groups, right? So sort them into distinct groups. Again, you want to apply the Misi principle. These aren't collectively exhaustive, but they are mutually exclusive. Bakery items, meat, fruit. Now, if you quickly sorted the list as you're trying to remember that in the previous step into three items, you might more easily be able to remember three items and then dig down into saying, okay, here are the items under that group. And then the core main idea is, here's the shopping list for the supermarket. And just remember, you want to apply the Misi principle to make sure that your ideas are distinct and this will help them be more memorable. Now I realize we are not solving a complex consulting type problem or even a super complex problem. And this is just to show what the pyramid principle can do. But if we're thinking about part two, we then go to communicate top down. And this principle is really about shifting away from here's these nine things you need to remember. It's hard for people to do that to what are the key takeaways? What are the key ideas? And the key ideas, the main idea is that you're heading to the supermarket to pick up some things. And the themes are that you're headed to the bakery, meat shop and deli to pick up those things. Structuring your communication around that makes it much simpler to remember what are the actual items you need to pick up in these categories.